Guinness. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to do an impactful beer commercial. And the way to make your shots impactful is to really think about the energy and the sound that's gonna be driving this film. And the way that I came up with this idea was I had an idea of like thinking about sound and beer and I'm like, I want the power to be cap off and then glug, 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 glug. And that's it, four shots. We're gonna come in from boom, camera, in product meeting. So the way that we're doing this shot today and is all we're using is string. I have two strings on the back and we're gonna do this in reverse. So we have this uh, V flat board and we're gonna pull backwards. And as it's pulling backwards, it's gonna go all the way back here where there's not much light. Our lighting setup is up here. And so it's gonna go into pitch blackness and then in reverse, it's gonna emerge from the darkness like bang and then come boom forward like that and then that's what's gonna reveal our product. So we're just gonna reverse it because it's easier to pull and then in post, you know, reverse it because it's easier to land on our mark. And then on the slider, I'm just gonna push in at the same time. We're just gonna be two forces converging together. And that's our first impactful shot. Just to add a little bit more to make the shot look cool, like it's coming out of something, I'm taking the Smoke Genie and we have the little tube hose right here. And we're just going like this. And what this is gonna do when you're using the tube like this and pointing at here, it's gonna have this sit and that's just gonna add to our movement because now if I bring this bottle and go, you can see the smoke. And you're gonna say, Austin, but in reverse, that's gonna look funny. Well, who cares? And that's filmmaking. So to continue with this video, the bottle is slid forward. Now to get to the cap coming off, we need to get above the bottle and I wanted to make it look like it's one shot. So what I'm doing is I'm matching up relatively in the same spot and then I'll kind of do the rest in post. But what I'm gonna do is I'm have my tripod legs like this split open on the sides of the bottle. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the tripod to raise up and it's gonna be a nice fast speed ramp to get us to our next shot so that it's a smoother flow into our next shot. Cause we have so much energy coming in from our first shot that if we just jump to opening the cap above, it's gonna be a weird kind of stop, right? And so I want this video to flow. And so we're gonna go doop and then chick. And so it's gonna be all one motion. And the way we're gonna do it is we're just gonna do a nice steady, slow lift up like this. And as it raises, it's gonna go, that's just the duct tape. It's gonna raise right above the bottle like so. The next shot that we're doing is, I'm on babysitting duty. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the next shot that we're doing is the cap coming off and we're doing a top down because the last shot we lifted up above the bottle and I'm using the drill and we just put a skewer in there and I'm going to rotate it right above here at 120 frames and 300 frames. I'm trying both to see what I like. And then in post, I'm going to rotoscope the cap and then have a clean frame of just the bottle by itself and have the cap go and explode up towards the camera. Now, I know people have done this in the past. I've never watched other people's tutorials, so I'm winging it my own way, and hopefully this works. We're getting our, our ending hero shots, our climax shots, and that is of this beautiful cup, which is the Guinness cup. I went and found one specially for this because I knew that's what they put it in, and this is the shape. And then what we're doing is we just have it on a black acrylic box, literally like our intro shot, but now we're pulling away because this is the end of the story. The beginning you push in and at the end you pull out, right? That sounded wrong. Nevertheless, it doesn't matter. What we're doing for this is we really want to focus is the head on the Guinness is so important, but also the, um, I don't know what they're called, but the carbonation that rises up. So we got a detail shot pouring in here and we also got the head and the ending shot pulling out and boom, that is it for this. And that's going to have our This is the last shot. We always do our messiest shots last and the most difficult ones, I guess. But this is the pouring shot. And what we're doing is so that the beer lands nicely into the cup. We have the cup angled. We have it on an acrylic box that I've just double-sided taped the glass onto the acrylic box and then double-sided the acrylic box onto the baby plate. The baby plate, these are things that I've 
used all the time in a lot of my tutorials if you guys wanna go look back, but also in my product video course, I go in a lot more detail, especially with this setup where I have the bottle cut out with a hole and then we have a Matthews clamp holding it and then we're just pointing through the back of the bottle. It allows us to do a multiple takes without having to change out the bottles, reprep the bottles. So this is the setup that I like to run. And then we're just running this on the slider with the DZO film lens, the 32 macro, because that is perfect for this. It's wide enough, but also detailed enough that we can really punch in and get those beautiful shots. I'm shooting this at 300 frames on the Ursa, and that's it, you guys. And you guys can get a shot that looks like this. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed something different. Typically I do whiskey, now it's beer. So please like, share, subscribe, and until next time.